My name is Stephen Hirsch. I'm a neurologist specializing in movement disorders and Huntington's disease at the Massachusetts General Hospital. I am also the principal investigator of the Crest E study, which began enrolling subjects in 2009. Crest E is a phase three clinical research study designed to assess the safety, tolerability, and effectiveness of high dose pharmaceutical grade creatine in Huntington's disease. Creatine is a specific treatment for the energy deficiency that occurs in the brain of Huntington's disease patients. We know that creatine slows Huntington's disease in the mouse models and it corrects their energy deficiencies. Previous studies we have conducted in Huntington's disease patients have shown that high-dose creatine reduces damage to cells and stabilizes some symptoms. These studies have also shown that creatine may slow down the shrinking of the brain that occurs in Huntington's disease. The Cresti study is designed to determine whether the benefits we have seen in mice and patients so far translates to a significant slowing of the disease and the functional decline that occurs in it. It is also designed to test whether a number of neuroimaging and blood-based biomarkers can help us better track the progression of HD and responses to treatments like creatine. Creatine is considered a nutritional or dietary supplement and is readily available over-the-counter. Over-the-counter creatine products, however, are not made to meet standards of purity and composition established by the FDA and similar oversight agencies. This means that there may be higher levels of impurities and less creatine that gets into the body. The creatine in the Crest-E study is pharmaceutical grade, which means that it was manufactured to meet the FDA's highest standards of purity to ensure that more active creatine and less impurities get into the body, blood, and brain. In a phase three trial, new treatments are compared with standard ones to determine which is safer and more effective. If standard treatments are not available, new treatments are typically compared to a placebo. The crest -E participants taking placebo are actually helping us ensure that we have not introduced any bias into the study and know for certain that any slowing of the disease that we may see is due to creatine itself. We are looking for men and women 18 years or older who are in the early stages of the disease. If you meet study entry criteria, you will be randomly assigned to receive either creatine or placebo within 60 days of screening. During the first six months of the study, your dose will be increased to determine your highest tolerated dose which you will take for the duration of the study. Your regular doctor will still be in charge of your medical care and the study doctor will be in charge of the study related care. If you decide to participate in the study, you will receive study medication and study related tests and examinations at no cost to you. Participating sites have some funds to help reimburse travel expenses. Your participation is entirely voluntary and you can choose to stop at any time. 650 participants are needed for us to detect a significant enough slowing of the disease to make a difference. Crest E is actively enrolling and needs many more subjects to meet this goal. The sooner we have all 650 subjects, the sooner we will have an answer. Participating study sites are Huntington study group sites in the United States, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. Additional countries may join the study in the future. For information about the Crest E HD study, you can call the Huntington Study Group at 1 800 487 7671. If you have questions about participating, ask your doctor about the HSG creatine trial for Huntington's disease.